Welcome to the Oshawa Community Museum podcast with your host, Melissa Cole. Thank you for joining us today on a special podcast series that coincides with our Oshawa Historical Society speaker series, The Victorian Medicine Show. This event will be held on February 21st at 7 p.m. at the McLaughlin branch of Oshawa Public Libraries. This series of podcasts will feature a few pieces from our own medical collection, and a different artifact will be featured each week leading up to the event on February 21st. Our extensive medical collection contains pieces that were used from the Victorian era up until the early 1920s. They were used by various doctors who worked and lived in Oshawa, most notably Dr. Thomas Mackay. Thomas William Gibbs Mackay was an Oshawa native who was born on March 8, 1873. He began a medical practice in the city of Oshawa in 1896 after receiving his doctorate at the University of Toronto. He gave most of his time to the practice and the community, traveling around the region on house calls by horse and buggy and later a Ford Model T. Thomas rallied in the region for safe access to water and, and inoculations for all and was greatly admired by all his patients. His practice was actually located beside where the Genosha Hotel stands today. His home is no longer there. The Victorian era saw a host of new medical innovations. Tossing aside archaic medical traditions, Victorian doctors embraced new practices such as greater sanitation, anesthesia, widespread inoculation, and routine surgical operations. At the same time, strides were being made in the practices of pharmacology, disease isolation, and psychiatry. All these groundbreaking innovations contributed to increased life expectancies by the end of the 19th century. Doctors were committed to solving the mysteries of human health for people of all ages and backgrounds. One common problem that ailed young persons in the Victorian era was called pertussis, or whooping cough. At the time, the cough was taking the lives of up to 15,000 children and infants per year. In the 21st century, we now have a vaccination to cure this disease. But at the time, Victorians had to resort to a different method to heal pertussis sufferers. Victorian doctors would prescribe use of a device called an atomizer, one of which we have in our collection. The atomizer has a glass bottle with a spraying device made of steel, a rubber bellow, and a rubber hose. It is similar in shape and size to a modern day perfume atomizer, but it was used for a very different purpose. The glass bottle would be heated by the flame and filled with a chemical solution such as potassium bromide, ammonia, belladonna, and water. The vapors would then be inhaled by the sufferer or pushed into their system by the bellows to heal their ailment. This was proven to be very effective in a number of cases and was soon widespread as a remedy for pertussis as well as many other diseases such as bronchitis and asthma. Be sure to join us next week when we will feature another artifact from our medical collection. This particular artifact was used to assist individuals with hearing loss. I look forward to talking with you again. Thank you.